In this tutorial series, we get into the essentials of how to make you and your orchestral instrument sound and look better. In this episode, we talk about recording string instruments. The main part of the tone is formed by the resonance and character of the body. Since the acoustic properties of wood differ from instrument to instrument, we have a wide variety in the sound spectrum. The sound also depends strongly on the individual bowing technique. Where the bow hits the string, its speed and pressure on the string make a big difference. And the bow generates a noise that belongs to the typical tone characteristics of string instruments. The viola, as well as the violin, have an extended frequency spectrum containing high levels of overtones, which give the instruments their typical character. They also have a large dynamic range with a really soft pianissimo power level. So make sure you record these instruments in a really quiet room. The lowest frequencies are radiated more or less omnidirectionally from the body. The higher frequencies, however, are beamed upwards perpendicular to the face of the instrument. Let's take a look at a possible microphone position for recording a viola or a violin. About 90 to 120 centimeters in front of the instrument and about 1 meter to 1 meter 50 above the instrument. Looking down at the body, at the bridge, at the F holes and at the point where the bow hits the strings. That would be a good starting point. Listen for a balance between the tone, the noise of the bow and the ambience in the room. You can also use two microphones for a stereo setup. In our tutorial series, we use a stereo setup called AB or Space Pair, where we use two small diaphragm condenser microphones spaced about 25 to 30 centimeters apart. And here I have the choice between the Neumann KM184 with a cardioid pickup pattern or the Neumann KM183 with an omnidirectional pickup pattern. If the sound is too bright or too harsh and you have too many overtones, you can lower the microphones or change the angle, or move the microphones to the side so that the player's head blocks some of the high frequency content. And check the position of the microphones twice, because some of you players are moving a lot while performing. The cello radiates in a similar way to the violin or viola, but the playing position is quite different. As now the instrument is close to the floor, the reflections play an important part in the sound, and a nice wooden floor would be a preferred surface. But if you have to record on a stone or marble floor, a small carpet might help. For the cello, you can adapt the microphone techniques used for the violin or viola. So the microphone's about one and a half to two meters away from the instrument and about one and a half to two meters up. Listen for a good balance between the full tone, the bowing detail and the reverberation in the room. For a more direct sound, move the microphones closer to the instrument and if you want to have a more spacious feeling, move them further away. And if you feel that the sound right in front of the instrument is too harsh or it has too many overtones, move the microphones on a circular path around the instrument like we did in our example. Mm -hmm. 